Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the roughness. I'm just now waking up from my nap and I don't feel like putting any clothes on or preparing to record this video. So I'm just going to do raw and uncut. Anyway, as you can see from the title, this video is about people using their children as bait. It is so annoying. I mean, it is really freaking annoying. I am so tired of people saying, oh, you're not going to get to see my child no more. Mothers keeping their kids away from the father when they get to the beefing or in order to keep the father around. Fathers trying to take the children from the mothers because they feel some type of way about the mother dating another dude. Like, it is really ridiculous. Like, people really need to grow up and learn how to co-parent, learn how to be mature, and just leave the children out of it. Like, if your child is not in danger, leave your child out of it. If you, if it's a friendship that's involved, if you choose not to deal with that person, fine. You choose not to deal with that person. You don't have to have your children around that person if you no longer deal with that person or if you, you know, don't want your child around that person. That's fine. But just don't, you don't have to voice that. That's something that you can do. Just don't bring your damn child around. Don't come around. Don't deal with that person no more. Like, people are so immature it's ridiculous. I don't think people will ever grow up to the fact of not bringing their children into play when they have a disagreement with somebody. I have never, ever used my child against anyone when it came down to me and someone else having our own personal issues. Never. There's one child, one time in my life that I decided not to allow my child to go with her father. And that was for safety precaution reasons behind that. It was because I had, I wanted to protect my child basically at the end of the day. And it wasn't about her father doing anything abusive to her. It was about what he was doing with himself that could possibly have involved my child. But I don't understand why people, why people, why, why do that? Why? Have we, is it not 2018? Do we not have any other way to resolve our issues besides saying, oh, well, F you, you ain't got to worry about seeing my kids. You ain't got to worry about doing nothing for my kids. You ain't got to worry about this or that or blah, blah, blah. Me ask you for help and shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm, I'm quite sure they feel like they um, don't want to have to worry about your mouth. Like, stop using your children as bait. It's not going to make a person change the way that they feel about a certain situation. It's not going to make a pe person change their actions. It's not going to change the past. It's not going to change anything. Unless, like I said, that child is personally involved in something that could be harmful to that person, to that child, and you're preventing things from happening to that child, then what is the dag on point? You're just trying to upset the other person, and more, more than likely, it's not going to work. More than likely, it's not going to work. For those bitter ones, yes, it'll work. For bitter baby mamas, for bitter baby daddies, more than likely, it'll work because they'll cave in and, you know, they'll want to fight you or whatever the case may be, take you to court and, you know, bring, bring other people around, get other people involved. In those situations, you know, sometimes it does work. But for the most part, it does not work. So just stop doing it. Leave the children out of it. But then as soon as you get to arguing with someone else and they bring your child up in it, oh, now you feel some type of way. Now you want to fight. When they say they ain't doing nothing for your child or they disown your child and say that that child is not theirs, now you feel some type of way. Now you want to fight. Now you want to bring the law, get the law involved in all the other type of stuff. Stop bringing children into your own personal beefs if you are over the age of 18 you are grown learn how to handle your own arguments on by yourself without involving your child that's what allows people to say negative things about your child 
Whether it's a friendship beef. Whether it's a, a family beef. Whether it's a domestic uh, beef with you and, you know, your child's father, you know, your child's mother. Just leave the child out of it. The child don't have nothing to do with it. Y'all can argue about how y'all feel about each other or whatever or your bad parenting skills. But if you feel like your child is unsafe, that is the only reason. You can't say that your child is unsafe because your boyfriend has a new girlfriend now and... You don't like the way that your the girlfriend look at you, or your new girlfriend has a boyfriend. Your bo girlfriend, your baby mother has a new boyfriend, and the dude size you up every time you come and get your child. So you want to bring your child in? I don't want my child around that dude. Unless you feel like your child is not safe in that environment, leave your children out of it. It's not about the child. The argument is y'all personal issues that y'all have with each other. That's what the argument is about. So, leave it at that. Grow up. Like I said, it's 2018. Find another way to deal with your personal issues with someone. And besides, bring your children into play. Because when someone else brings your child into play, and disown your child, or talk down on your child, you're not going to like it. So, why would you do that? You're opening the door that you, that you want closed. Just don't do it. Stop. 2018, stop bringing your children into your personal arguments. And that's all this video was about. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you agree with me, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. This is recorded on my camera. More than likely, I'll be going live on my next video. So I hope you guys have a nice day. I suck at stopping these videos. That's why I hate doing them.